going to do a freeform geode on this parchment paper. I'm laying down a couple of layers of 100% silicone caulk and I'm covering my fingers with some Vaseline so the caulk doesn't stick to them and then pressing the silicone into the parchment to create a seal so that the resin doesn't leak out. I'm starting with a layer of this beautiful transparent crimson and hoping that I can just get kind of a crimson glow peeking out from what will be a mostly black base on the interior of this geode. This is a really dense black that I made from a couple of different colors and I will include all that information in the comments. But the concept is to make this as dense as possible so that light doesn't show through this part. Now I'm using a bright gold paste from Just Resin and this is the first time I've used this but I really love how this reacts when the heat gun hits it and it mixes with the clear and the black. I didn't mix up enough gold here, so I will go back and add that later. But now I'm going to do a rim of clear right around the opening of the geode so that when I put my stones in, some of them will have that transparency and then a little bit of the gold mixed in with it. Now I'm going to hit this all with a heat gun to just blend all the colors and give it a more organic feel. Now I'm adding some stones and these are called fire rocks and they're clear glass with kind of an iridescent sheen on um, the sides of them and they're really sharp so you could cut yourself easily with these but once I put on several layers of resin that's going to blend out some of those sharper points. These are tiny pieces of shattered mirror glass. I think I got this at uh, Michael's and they really had a lot of sparkle and glow and I think I add a little more organic nature to the glass rocks. It's been about eight hours and I'm doing a second layer of all three, the gold, the black, and the crimson, and then hitting it with the heat gun to blend all that in. I'm going to use a torch and just lightly go over it, which removes a lot of the bubbles. And then about another eight hours, I put a clear coat over everything, the stones and the color, and just get a nice clear glass sheen on it all. I'm going to add some more stones and some of the mirror glass because I just feel like this center part needs to be filled out a little more. And I pre-mixed the glass with some resin and a little bit of natural sand because I think that gives it more of a stone-like finish and it helps blend the elements together.
So it's been about another eight hours and I'm just gonna demold it from this parchment paper. It comes off pretty easily and I could be done with it at this point. It looks kind of cool, but I really feel like I need to add a rim of stones around the exterior. So I'm going to take this out and sand down the edges with a Dremel tool, clean it up, and then start with part two.